Hey French horns, today we are going to talk about how to hold the French horn in our hand position, okay? So I'm going to start, as you can see, I have my French horn here and I also have my mouthpiece on. I'm going to go ahead and take my mouthpiece off just for this one part because we're not going to be playing, okay? I'm going to take my French horn, I'm going to make sure I have two hands on the instrument at all times, okay? I'm going to grab my French horn and I am going to take my left hand, so if it's you and your left hand camera, this is your left hand, okay? I'm going to take your left hand. And if you look closely, you have your three valves on your French horn and you have your trigger, okay? So what I'm gonna do with my left hand is I'm going to take my thumb, left thumb, put it on the trigger, and then I'm also gonna take my first three fingers and they're gonna go one, two, and three. I don't want you to necessarily press the valves down. I do, however, want you to make sure that when your uh, fingers go on the French horn, you need to make sure that you are pushing the valves down or putting your finger on the pads of the fingers. So that's the squishy part of your finger right here. They're gonna curve on the French horn like this and your pads are gonna touch the valves just right at the very tip, kind of where the valves are a little bit circular here anyways, okay? So your pad of the finger is gonna go right there. It's not gonna be way up here or way back here. It's just right here at the tip, okay? And then last thing you know, you have your pinky ring, okay? You're gonna take your pinky on your left hand and stick your pinky in that ring and then your fingers on the valves and thumb here, okay? So that is our left hand position for French horn. Now, for the right hand, okay, there's a lot of things that we have to learn and we'll learn as we go, but the first thing we're gonna talk about is just how we want to hold our bell. Eventually, we're gonna go hand in bell, but we're not there just yet. So what we're gonna start with is we're gonna start with hand out of bell, okay? And real quick, there's something I need to show you, okay? Your French horn bell, if you look at it, it's a circle, right? It kind of looks like a clock, okay? So we're gonna call the French horn bell a clock for now, okay? I'm gonna set my French horn down real quick so you can see what I'm doing, okay? Here we have a blank piece of paper, but I'm going to draw my bell or my clock, okay? And then at the top of the clock, we're gonna have 12 o'clock, six o'clock, three o'clock, and nine o'clock, okay? So just like this, my bell is a clock, okay? For my clock, for my right hand holding my bell, if you look, okay, here is the paper, my clock, and here is my French horn bell. When I hold my French horn right now, I'm gonna take my right hand, I'm going to grab the French horn, okay, so if this is my bell and the clock is here, this is gonna be 12 o'clock on my bell, and then down here is gonna be six o'clock, okay, so the top and the very bottom, if you're holding it like this, okay. I'm gonna take my right hand, just like the clock, and I'm gonna put my hand between five and six o'clock. So six o'clock is the very bottom here. So I'm gonna put my right hand just a little bit like right here between five and six. So with your bell, if you're holding your horn with your left hand already, you're gonna take your left hand. Your right hand is gonna go, I'm gonna put my bell this way and show you, is gonna go 12, down to five and six, between five and six, somewhere in that area, you're just gonna grab your bell just like this, okay? So my thumb is sticking out kind of right here, and most of the weight of the horn is going right here on the palm of my hand, just a little bit between five and six. So not right down at six o'clock, not over here, just right here, okay? Now I'm going to very carefully hold my horn like this with my horn in my lap, okay? The next step is we're gonna go up and we're gonna hold our horn, okay? And we're gonna show you how to hold it when you go to playing position. For now though, this is gonna kinda be our just rest position in our lap, okay? So my fingers, my left hand is on the valves and the pinky ring. My right hand is holding my horn between five and six o'clock, so I have a very nice grip on it, okay? The next thing is we're going to gonna go to playing position, okay? When we do that, you take your left, or sorry, your right hand, you're holding between five and six. You have your uh, left hand here on the valves. I'm gonna take my French horn and using my right hand and my left hand to lift it up, I'm gonna lift it up and I'm gonna stick it right here on my knee, at the end of my knee. So it kinda is gonna look like this, okay? Now this isn't right. We obviously have to get it up here where the mouthpiece is gonna touch our face, okay? If you remember from French horn embouchure, we need to make sure that we have two thirds on the upper lip for mouthpiece and one third on the lower lip. To do that when we're holding our French horn, I'm gonna show you with my mouthpiece, okay? I'm gonna grab where I showed you. I'm gonna stick my horn on my knee. I'm gonna make sure that I'm sitting with my feet flat, my head up, and my high knee on the hump, just like we've already talked about. I'm gonna stick my right hand here. I'm going to take my French horn and I'm going to lift it just the like slightest bit off my leg. 
So now it's to the side of my leg, if you see, but it's not resting on my leg anymore because I'm standing up, okay? It's gonna go just right to the side, right here, and I'm gonna stick my mouthpiece on my face so that my French horn lead pipe, if you remember from parts of the French horn, is gonna be at about a 45 degree angle from where like my head is. So my head is like straight up here. My French horn lead pipe is going like at a 45 degree angle kind of like down right here, okay? So if I'm holding it, I'm gonna go ahead and put my mouthpiece on my face. And it's gonna be on the side, not on my leg, just like this. I'm gonna make sure that I have two thirds upper, one thirds lower. And then if you look, my lead pipe is not like this. It's not going straight down. It's not sideways like this. It's a nice, easy angle. So it almost like to the camera you're looking at. It looks like a 45 degree angle, okay? And especially, even though you're online right now, it's okay. We're gonna help you adjust as soon as we see you in person, but just do your best to make sure that it's not way over here, straight down like this or anything weird, okay? It's gonna be off the leg, just to your side, right here, holding between five and six. And then it kind of naturally comes up to the spot it's supposed to go anyway. So we'll go from lap to here, to lap to here, okay? And it's gotta be at this angle. So what you can do too, if you're online, is use your phone, just like I'm using my phone to record right now, and look at yourself. And you should look, if you're looking at your mirror image, you should look like this when you're resting, right hand here, and then when you come up to playing position, you should look exactly like me. Okay, and that is how we are going to hold our French horn and how we bring it up to playing position.